on a gorgeous afternoon at Yogi Berra Stadium in northern New Jersey, we are ready to crown an Ivy League Baseball Tournament champion. Today, the three-seed Cornell Vigorad do battle with the four-seed Penn Quakers with an NCAA Tournament bid on the line. Let's take a look at the tournament bracket. Penn and Princeton teamed up to knock out the regular season champion Columbia Lions on Friday. And yesterday, Penn eliminated Princeton to set up the tournament finals today. And welcome into the booth, everyone. Alongside Drew Casey, I'm Ryan Young. Fifth most in the nation. He'll be big for the Penn Quakers today. So we are ready for the Ivy Tournament finals. It's Cornell and Penn coming up next here on ESPN+. Plus. Let's take a look at the up-to-date bracket in the Ivy League Tournament as we begin day two. Yesterday, it was Cornell who took down Princeton 9-7, to a game-winning hit of the ninth in the first game, and then Penn came back to take down the hosting Columbia Lions in game two. And so here we are today, ready for an elimination game between the Lions and Tigers. And we welcome you here to Robertson Field at State House Stadium with the World Series champion and former head coach at Yale, John Stuper. I'm Ryan Young. We're excited to bring you another day of baseball here at the Ivy Tournament. As the game goes on. So it's Columbia and Princeton in game three of the Ivy League Baseball Tournament, and it's next here on ESPN+. Plus. Well, two years ago, Columbia and the last ever Ivy League playoff series won a doubleheader on a separation Sunday to take down the Penn Quakers on their home turf and advance to the NCAA Tournament. And then... A year later, Penn was able to host the first Ivy League tournament, and last year the Quakers won all three games they played, and they were in the NCAA tournament for the first time since 1995. And both Columbia and Penn won multiple games in their NCAA regionals the last two years, and both Columbia and Penn hope to get back there to have an opportunity to do some damage again, but it all starts today. And for Columbia, it'll start with the right-hander Derek Yu on the mound, he has been the consistent game one starter every Ivy weekend, and you can see why. In Ivy play, 4-1 and one with a 3.43 ERA, 30 strikeouts and just 13 walks in 43 and a third innings pitch. He's the type of kid, he's not overpowering. Against Cornell's batting order here today. And it's led by John Quinlan, Nathan Waugh, and Max Jensen at the top. Then you have Mark Quatrani, the Ivy League Rookie of the Year, a guy who's hit two huge home runs in this series, including the go-ahead Grand Slam yesterday. Braden Mack, Kevin Hager also homered yesterday. Matt Barnhorst, the captain on this team. Then it's Caden Wildman and Jacoby Davis. And they make up the lineup for Dan Pepicelli in his ninth year as head coach. The first time they've made the Ivy postseason under Pepicelli and looking to get to the NCAA tournament for the first time under his watch. There's John Quinlan, and we're about ready to get this championship game underway. Again, Cornell, one win. They are in. Penn needs to win both. But as Drew was saying, I think if there's anyone in the Ivy League who has the pitching depth to do it, and man, is it tough to come out of loser's bracket, it would be the Penn Quakers. And Carson Osmer ready to deal. The first pitch of the game, it is over for a strike, and we are underway. Mack was 0 for 4 in the game yesterday. He swings at the first pitch and gets under it. It is a high sky, and on the right side of the infield, it is the second baseman, Chavez, who stays with it. And Carson Osmer puts up a zero in the first. It's Cornell nothing, and Penn coming to bat in the Ivy League Tournament Championship on ESPN. 2-2, and he pulls a string to get Wah and keep the lead for the Quakers. Two left on base, Cornell is stranded two in each of the first three innings, but in the third inning, they strike for five to make this a one-run game in the middle of the third. Brown swings to the first pitch, chops it in the shortstop, holds back in it by Hager, long throw, great play by Kevin Hager in a big spot to strand three Quakers. But not before, a baseball was absolutely annihilated by the unanimous Ivy League Player of the Year. Who knows if it's come down yet. It is 10-3 and Cornell coming to bat. And this winner take all game seven of the Ivy League Baseball Tournament. I keep looking at my scorecard to make sure, <laughs> but it's the case. 2-2. Popped up, foul ground. Max Jensen, the first baseman, is going to have room, and he makes the catch. And a one, two, three inning for Chris Ellison. We will stretch 
in the Ivy League Baseball Tournament Championship. Penn clinging to a 7-6 lead. Columbia, the regular season Ivy champs. They had a dominant campaign at 17-4, but they are the first team eliminated in the 2024 Ivy Tournament. But we'll be back with game two in a little bit, over an hour from now between Cornell and Penn. So for John Stupre and our entire crew, I'm Ryan Young saying so long from New York City. This has been a presentation of ESPN. We'll see you in a little bit. And it forces a decisive game seven. It'll come up in a little bit more than half an hour from now. 5.40 is the scheduled first pitch for the final game of what has been an awfully fun 2024 Ivy League Baseball Tournament. So we will be sure to see you later. The NCAA Tournament bid is on the line. Cornell looking to get back there for the first time in 12 years. And Penn is looking to repeat, and they're looking to do it the hard way out of the loser's bracket. What a ball game in the end. Penn overtakes Cornell by an 11-9 final. So for Drew Casey and an entire crew here in Northern New Jersey, I'm Ryan Young. We'll see you in a little bit. This has been a presentation of ESPN.